It's very painful. It's painful personally and it's painful collectively for all of us. But it's nothing like as painful as the problems facing so many workers, so many parents, so many students and so many older people throughout the length and breadth of this country. It's, it's our duty, it's our duty to let people out there know that we understand the personal realities of this recession. Not to minimize them, not to make empty, optimistic noises and pretend they change those realities. They don't. But it's also our duty and our responsibility to take this country by the scruff of the neck and point towards recovery. We're the party of government. We have the capacity to turn this economy round. We can do it, and more to the point, we're the only party that will do it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Brian Cowan has spent the last few months delivering in a dire situation. He's watched across the floor of the House the opposition parties not delivering, not delivering principled opposition. Instead, they've de delivered cheap dramatics, not caring about the consequences of what they're saying. Fine Gael and the Labour Party will someday regret the way that they danced around our wounded economy. They'll regret... They'll regret the, day, the way they happily spread a dangerous message to the world about a country they claim to love and serve, as we do. They have not served Ireland well. In Fianna Fáil, we know leadership when we see it. We respond to it with a passion. Now is the time to demonstrate that passion. Now is the time to demonstrate that this party, this party of government, is led by the right man at the right time. Ladies and gentlemen, Karja Inafal, it's my privilege to call on you to demonstrate Fianna Fáil's purpose and confidence in Brian Cowan, the man that will lead us through this recession. Good evening. Good evening, delegates. Please, please, thank you. Please, please. good evening. Good evening, delegates. And to all of you watching and listening at home. I realize tonight as I talk to you that many of you here in this hall and around the country have worries for yourselves, your families and your future. We are living in uncertain times and people are concerned about their jobs, their businesses and their homes. And right across the globe there are people in the same situation. The world has changed. We are in a new era never faced by anybody of our generation before. This is the worst financial crisis to hit the world since 1929, they say. 